is, is uh, coming up here on stage next. He's, a, he's an aspiring author. He's actually working on a book about competitive wordplay. And somehow or other he got in here as our second round of cannon fodder here today. Yeah. So, if we may not take this any fodder, I don't know. Joe flew all the way down here from New York, I believe, yeah. to interview us for a uh, book he's working on. And uh, because we had so many people that wanted in this year, we had to go to a lottery system for contestants. Fortunately, at the last minute, he got in by cancellation, so we are quite relieved. Uh, as I said, um, Joe is coming all the way down here from New York, so no pressure. Ready? Sure. Okay. Time to ready. Go. So, ordinarily, I'm a vegetarian, but uh, Austin is famous for its great food, so I, uh, this is a story about experimenting while I'm here. I'll uh, end the corny intro now and dive right in. Olive oil, God's creatures, but I'm a regular guy, so I don't turn up my nose at a meaty meal. If the animal has been killed humanely, I like a steak bloodier than a gourd bullfighter, and so thick it wouldn't be hard to choke on it. I heard about this place where to food was supposed to be amazing. Uh, whenever fans have been in town, all the great Satan there, uh, except for Mambo Number no. 5 crooner Lou Vega, who dissed the place. Which was kind of rude of Vega, if you ask me. So we headed over, uh, except when my friends didn't have the right garbanzo, he went home to change. And we didn't want to wait until he came back. So we figure, he'd come around eventually, and we headed in. The place was, the place was farm to table, but the farm was right outside which wasn't that bad, except for the smell of chickpea. Uh, I don't find the noise of chickens, though. I actually kind of like it. It's my bok joy. So the server led us to the table, and there wasn't much room back there, but luckily the table was portobello, and they were able to move it for us. Uh, my friend I was with, she, uh, she talked a good game, but I didn't think that she could eat more elk than me. But I wasn't really in the mood for venison, so I had to choose between the dad rooster or the mom hen. And since uh, I didn't know where the fava bean, I ate a mommy. Or at least I tried, I tried, but they switched hard order with another table. And um, yeah, they switched hard order with another table. And I said, stop gurking us around. <laughs> this is your final warning. Yeah. Well, oh, sorry. sorry about that. Well, it was a good routine. Unfortunately, they come in under two minutes. So give them some applause for the quality. Two routines don't always... Uh, Come in under two minutes. Unfortunately, by cutoff rules, and the judges doesn't count. Judges have shown their scores, right? Did we? Did we get them? We got nine, eight. I believe that was supposed to be a ten. Dian. First time judges. All right, nine, eight, ten, nine, eight, nine.